Hi everybody and welcome to this video. Uh, today we're going to have a look at what to do with a pre-release kit. If you haven't done a pre-release before, uh, how to analyse each individual card that you get within your kit and how to put those together into hopefully what is an effective deck for the day. I'm going to start by cracking open this guild kit and taking a quick look at the cards that were inside it. So we're going to do that now. While you're watching me open this pack, let's very quickly go over the contents. Uh, for this pre-release kit and for the upcoming Ravnica Allegiance pre-release kits, you will get five booster packs of the set and you'll also get one seeded booster that also contains your promo. Uh, this seeded booster only contains cards in the colour of the guild that you have chosen. Um, and while the contents of your packs are random, what is in this pack will probably form a lot of the deck that you eventually make on the day. As you're going through your booster packs, the thing you want to bear in mind is the acronym BREAD, B-R-E-A-D. Now this stands for Bombs, Removal, Evasion, Abilities or Aggression, and Dregs or Dirt. And they're in the level of importance from B down to D. Now B stands for Bombs. Bombs are the cards that are probably going to single-handedly win you the game. Uh, they tend to mostly be big threatening creatures. Um, Things like uh, a 7 8 with Trample and Hexproof, for example, that would be very difficult for your opponent to deal with. So, when you're looking through your cards, often bombs will jump out at you anyway, because it's often a rare or mythic and a card that people will look at and go, oh, wow, those are your bombs. Removal sort of speaks for itself. Any creature with an ability that will kill something else, any spell that has a destroy or exile, or even in red if you've got burn, anything that's going to remove something problematic from your opponent's side of the field. E for evasion, uh, these are creatures that fly, creatures that have hexproof, uh, creatures that have unblockable if the set contains that mechanic, uh, and anything that's going to mean it's harder for your opponent to deal with that creature attacking them than simply blocking it. A is for abilities or for aggression depending on your preferred playstyle or uh, how you like to look at cards. Uh, for abilities you want to look at what the creature or spell or enchantment or artifact can do uh, and if the mana cost associated with that ability is worth that ability being in your deck. In terms of aggression, normally if you're playing sort of Boros colors or Rakdos colors, red with white, red with black, and sometimes even blue with green can be quite aggressive too, you want to see creatures with a high power probably have a lower toughness but that's what's going to enable you to have a fairly explosive early game so that's what we're looking for aggressive aggression wise and d is dregs duh, anything that you're probably going to end up not playing on the day these tend to be a very high costing uh, creatures with that have no abilities or no evasion uh, zero five walls zero four krakens or you know things that are just not going to effectively progress a game for you or do anything for you trying to kill your opponent those are the things that you tend to leave by the wayside. So as I've gone through each pack as I've opened it, I've been bearing all of these things in mind while I'm looking at the cards. Then when I've sorted them into their color piles, as you can see in front of you, uh, I would go through each pile again, thinking about where my bombs are, where my removal is, and what my evasive and ability creatures are. So I've done this off camera. I've been through every color pile and thought about bread looking at each color. I've decided to stick with the guild colors and from the selection you can see in front of you, I would now choose about the 24 best spells to build my deck from. I would add 16 lands and this would form my 40 card sealed deck for the day. The leftover blue, red and multicolored blue and red cards would form my sideboard that I could change during matches. Thanks for checking out our video. Why not like and subscribe and leave us a comment below and let us know what you'd like to see from us in future videos. If you're a gamer and you're interested in joining our community, why not head over to rgeekout.co.uk, find us on Facebook or pop down to the store to join in the fun. Catch you in the next video. Stay geeky.